Hello everyone, today I'm here to do my first update for my Project Pan Roulette project. This I started in about the middle of January and I've been working on these products for about a month now, so I'm going to show you the progress that I've made on them. The first product I have is a product that I've owned for less than a year and for that I chose the NARS Contouring Duo in Paloma. My goal for this was to hit sizable pan in both of the powders. This is what it looks like right now. At the end of the video, I'll put in some photos that you can compare between the um, first month and the second month so you can see what I've done. Basically what I've done is I'm using this as a contour and a bronzer every single day. It still kind of looks pretty much untouched, but I'm working on that. And then this I'm using as a setting powder all over my face. There's a pretty good dip going on there, um, but I'm still not uh, pretty close to pan yet. So it'll be a little bit longer with this product. My next product is a MAC product, and for that I chose the eyeshadow in Naked Lunch. That's what it looks like now. As you can see, I have hit some sizable pan in it, and at this point I am going to call this product done. It's not as much pan as I probably could get, but I'd rather just draw another product in this video than wait until the next video. My next product is a cheap product, and for that I chose the Essence Bloom Me Up Dual Eye Pencil. This is a nude eyeliner on this side, and then a pink eyebrow highlight on this side. To measure this product, I've been measuring it here, so that's where I was at the introduction, that's where I am now. It is a really difficult product to use up, but I am making some more progress on it, and hopefully I will be able to finish it in not too long. Next is a product that I have owned for more than a year. For that, I chose the Rimmel Scandalize Cork Jaw Eyeliner in black. That's what it looks like now. I've also been measuring it like the Essence Liner. That's where I started the project and that's where I am now, so I've made some pretty sizable progress there and hopefully I'll be able to finish it in the next month or two. For a scented product, I picked the Bath & Body Works Pink Chiffon Fine Fragrance Mist. This is where I started the project and that's where I am now, so I've used probably about half of it. I do use it sometimes as a room spray, but I mostly use it just as a body mist and I'm more than confident that I can finish this in the next month. For a body wash slash soap, I chose the Body Shop Shea uh, Solid Soap, and I have used that product up completely. It went way faster than I thought it was going to, so now it's completely done. For a product in a form that I dislike, I chose the Bite Agave Lip Mask. I started the project with it approximately there, and I have worked it down to about there. There is a lot of product in this. It's very thick and difficult to uh, use up quickly. I have been using it every day, but um, as you can see, the progress is still pretty slow, but I'll keep going. For a skincare product, I picked two products to use together. The first was the Avene Thermal Spring Water and the second was the La Roche Posay Thermal Spring Water. I have completely finished up the Avene one and now I'm working on the La Roche Posay. I don't have very much left in it, probably about half of it, so I will be using this in the next month. For a product that isn't full sized, I have the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder, this mini. I have been using this, but I've been focusing on the Paloma setting powder, so I haven't made very much progress on this, and definitely not enough to make another mark, so I'm just leaving it at the first mark, and hopefully I'll be able to make some more progress after I hit pan in Paloma. And my last product was a product from my most recent haul, which at that time was my eye mats haul, so I chose to try and hit pan in the MAC Shadow Woodwinked. Um, it was basically brand new when I started this project and I have made some progress on it. There is a little bit of a dip in it, but at this point I know I'm definitely not going to hit pan in it in this project. So I am debating whether or not I should pull it out of the project and pick another product or if I should just keep working on it and make as much progress as I can, keeping in mind I definitely won't reach a goal of hitting pan. Let me know what you think about that. I'm not really sure if it would be cheating to pull it out of the project. Um, but at the same time, I don't really want to tie myself down to another eyeshadow that's basically brand new when I am doing the pen that palette as well. So because I have finished up two products, it means I get to pick two more products to add to this project. I've got all of my little papers with the different categories in this basket. I'm just going to pick out two, then I'm going to go pick the products and come back and show you what I've chosen. So for the first replacement product, I'm going to pick... A 
product you have repurchased. That's going to be kind of hard because I don't know if I have any products I've repurchased. But I'll have a look. And the next one is... A forgotten product. So this is a product that I often forget to use or forget that I own um, and something I just want to get more use out of because I've forgotten that I own it. So I'm going to go and pick those two products and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have picked my two new products for this project and I'll start with a product for the product that I have repurchased. As I guessed, I don't have very many products in my stash right now that I have repurchased, especially ones that wouldn't be uh, really easy to use up, like some skincare stuff that's already half used and things like that. So I decided to um, kind of interpret this a little bit differently, just so that it makes it more interesting. And I've picked a miniature of a perfume that I have owned before and then have since received a miniature of. This is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I don't know how much is in this little container. It doesn't say at all, but I can look it up. This is just a little miniature of a perfume that I have owned in the past and used up completely. So I'm going to try and finish up this little perfume. I haven't used it at all. It's completely full. For the forgotten product, I decided to go with a lip liner. This is the NARS Velvet Lip Liner in the color Why Mia. Lip liner is that kind of thing that I just never quite remember to put on. I only own two of them and um, I just decided this might be a good time to try and use it up, especially this nice one because it was rather expensive. So I'm just winding it up so you can see how much progress I need to make. Okay, so there you go. That is how much product is left in this uh, wind up lip liner. I will mark it on the same sheet as the eyeliners that I have to keep track of the progress on it. Um, but let me just wind it back down. So there you go. Those are the products that I am now adding into this project and the products that I've finished or made progress on since beginning. Please let me know what you think I should do about the MAC Wood Winged Eyeshadow, whether I should just pull it or whether I should keep at it. I'd love to hear your opinion. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.